Hey, we talked before, hopefully you saw that video, about using plants as pond filters. And what we've done is we added some floating net islands, added some plants up to our waterfall. There's a little side view of our net island. And we've got our plants working for us. But what if we need more? What if we need to just do a little bit more? Well, there's a couple things we can do. We can add an external area, an external pond filter, or a, a true water garden. And we can do that a couple of ways. We can go out and get a stock tank. Now, don't go get the big round ones. You know, those 300 gallon round stock tanks are great. We use them to raise koi and to store koi, but they're horrible for filters because you can't circulate the water with the darn thing. So if you're going to use a stock tank, get those long ones, those long skinny ones. And depending on the material and the powder coating on them, you might want to just go ahead and line them with pond liner, pop a couple of holes in them with a bulkhead, then just hook in, you know, through your, your, your pond pump, and that'll return to your pond right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill this with plants. Now, what, you, what a lot of people do is they'll just turn milk cartons upside down, stick them all in there, put their plants on them, roots grow out, perfect. What I prefer to do, rather than using the milk cartons and rather than using the, uh, the actual stock tank, is I like to add on directly to the pond. I mean, if I've got, especially if I've got a real long, narrow yard, um, my previous home had that, real long, narrow backyard. So what I did is as part of the pond, I just extended this about 18 feet, brought it out, and I had a couple of barrel filters that I added there, you know, since we make those, or used to make them. And so those were all added on, you know, we're pumping the water back here. Uh, so that I had a little bit of a water feature, I diverted a bit for a fountain. So you can still have a little bit of a water feature in the pond and do this. Uh, instead of using milk cartons here, uh, I'm a big fan of using the chimney blocks. Um, the kind that you would use to build a wood stove or you know, for your fireplace, because they're hollow inside. So when I laid them all in, you know, they're kind of doing a side view, let's say they were just all laid in, like so, all the way down. I went out and got some shelving from Home Depot, the kind of shelving that has the plastic, you know, already kind of plastic coated. Lay that right on top here. Then I took some filter media, a couple of rolls wide enough, laid it all the way out. I used pull tabs to kind of put the filter media on top of the shelving. You know, the little, you know, kind you slip through and snag it, uh, cable ties. Works great. Then I went out and I just put a bunch of iris, cattails, hornwort, uh, you know, parrot's feather, uh, all those kind of plants. And during the summer you can add some tropicals, but for the main planting, mint worked great. Just lay it all out on that pond filter. You even use the pull ties if you have to to keep the plants on there. Throw a little gravel. Don't put any dirt in there though, no soil. We're trying to, you know, we're trying to clear it up, not mess it up. So once that starts growing, all of a sudden you got roots all growing down through here. Plants are growing up. You get a lot of color. It's actually a real nice extension. If you don't know, you know, people that come out to the yard wouldn't even know that this was part of the pond. It just looked like there's a great flowering garden right next to the pond. But the fish knew. The fish would all swim up in here, go crazy through their tunnel on this open area right here. This is probably where I stopped with the tunnel. That's where I throw all those extra hyacinth in the summer when I start having more than I need. So it's a great place uh, for feeding the fish without having to throw in a bunch of food that's going to you know, cause more problems for me. And it was also a great hiding spot. Uh, one year, trapped over 13 raccoons in there. And that's a lot of raccoons. Didn't lose one single koi. So they were all hiding in the tunnels. So this is a, you know, a nice add-on for your pond. And if you don't want to go to, that, to the tunnel system, then just use it in a regular stock tank. But it's an inexpensive way, especially if you're looking at spending thousands on redoing your pond to add bigger pumps and filters and UV. Um, might want to try this first, and it adds a whole new dimension to your pond. Thanks for watching.